Hey folks, this is uh, my initial impressions of a mechanical water uh, temperature gauge. Um, I didn't know these existed. Uh, somebody told me about them. I figured that if you were going to have a remote gauge, it had to be electric. But this is the way they used to do it in the old days. Uh, the way this works is this is a bulb uh, filled with ether gas. When it heats up, it expands, it drives the gas down this tube and creates pressure on the back of that gauge. And that's what makes the uh, needle move. Um, the gauge is also an automotive gauge with backlighting and all that, so that will be very nice for my gasifier. Um, so, just want you to uh, keep an eye on the gauge. I'm going to heat up the probe here with a match. Oh no, the match went out. So we'll heat the gauge up and you can see how quickly it responds. Uh, just a little bit of heat from this match is driving it all the way up past probably 250 degrees or even hotter. Um, looks like we're going to max out the gauge about the same time that I burn my fingers. Um, so if you can see that, uh, it's, it went up pretty rapidly, it's coming down pretty rapidly. and. Uh, that will be a very nice non-electric solution. Um, I got nothing against electric gauges except that they're expensive and uh, not 100% reliable. I mean, there's a lot to be said for um, not relying on wires and connections that can corrode and so forth. This is fully mechanical, so it should have a very little failure point. Um, so I'm looking forward to installing either this gauge or one like it. The drawback to this particular gauge is it's got a six foot lead. Um, that's kind of short for what I need, so I'll be looking for one with maybe a little bit longer uh, tube on there. So anyway, hope you like that. That's uh, that's a mechanical water temperature gauge.